Hey everyone, so today I'll be sharing with you guys whether or not my straight hair reverted back to being curly. I had my hair straight for about three weeks. It's finally time for me to wash my hair. If you're interested in seeing whether or not my hair reverted, then keep on watching. Once my hair got really old, I decided to just rock a braid out. So at night, I would just do one braid and two flat twists, and I would just wrap my hair with a silk scarf. So I'm just taking down my braid and this is what my hair looks like. As you can see, it's super fluffy. It's been rained on. It's gotten wet in the shower. I've been going to the gym. So it's pretty fluffy. It's super old and it's really dry now because I haven't been doing anything with it. But I will say I did enjoy my straight hair. So I'm just checking to make sure the water is nice and warm let the water fully wet my hair before applying any products. My hair takes a really long time to get soaking wet because I do have low porosity hair and low porosity hair is just extremely stubborn. It's really resistant to heat, dyes, chemicals. It's just really stubborn. It is a blessing in disguise. I would have to say that. So the first product I'm going to be using is Hair Finney's Gentle Cleanse Shampoo. So I'm just going to start off with applying the product to the front portion of my hair and then working that in. So the great thing about this shampoo is that it removes buildup without making your hair feel dry. So now moving on to the back section, I'm just doing the same thing, working the shampoo in from roots to ends. The shampoo creates a lot of slip, so it's really easy for me to finger detangle my hair, which I really liked because I wanted to make sure that my hair was super detangled before I went ahead and started conditioning my hair. I'm making sure to squeeze the product in and make sure that all the strands are covered in shampoo. When I got my hair flat ironed, the hairdresser used a lot of serums and oils and hairspray. So I wanted to make sure that all of that product was out of my hair. So that way my curls could fully absorb the conditioner, which doesn't contain any silicone. So I wanted to make sure that all the buildup was out before conditioning. My scalp is pretty itchy because I haven't washed my hair in so long. So I'm going to go ahead and follow up with my scalp massager so that way I don't have to use my fingers. So the next product I'm using is Hairfinity's Balance Moisture Conditioner. And it was a little bit cold so I'm just blowing on it to warm it up. And I'm working it into the front section of my hair, splitting that section and working it into all of my strands. I've already went ahead and rinsed out my shampoo. I didn't film it, but I did rinse out my shampoo with warm water. I've talked about this conditioner before in many of my videos. Um, for example, it was featured in my favorite natural hair products. One of the reasons why it was featured in that video is because this conditioner gives my hair such an amazing slip that I don't even have to use a comb to detangle my hair. I just need to use my fingers and a little water and I'm good to go. It also doesn't contain any parabens, sulfates, or silicones, which leaves my hair extremely soft. A lot of us use products that contain silicones and don't really know the whole story behind silicones and what they do to our hair. Silicones actually create a barrier on the top layer of your hair, which makes your hair look and feel really, really good, but the product is actually not getting into your hair strands. Products that don't contain silicones actually make their way into your strands and help soften and moisturize your hair. Thank you. 
using warm water and a wide tooth comb, I make sure to go in and detangle my hair and make sure all the tangles are out. And then I finger detangle underneath the running water to remove all the conditioner from my hair and my scalp. And as I'm finger detangling my hair, I also remove my shedded hairs and put them to the side. So this is what my hair looks like outside of the shower. From what I can see and feel, there's no limp or straight pieces, so that is definitely a good sign of no heat damage. Next I'm going in with Hairfinity's Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner is really lightweight and it comes in a spray form which is really easy to apply and work with. So I'm just working that product into my hair and instantly my hair is feeling really really good. It's feeling nice and soft, moisturized and my curls are starting to pop. My hair was a little bit dry so I went ahead and just added a little bit of water to that leave-in and you guys can kind of see what my hair is looking like. Curls are starting to become nice and defined. And again, I'm not seeing any limp or straight pieces from flattering my hair. So my hair is completely covered in the leave-in and water and everything else. So these are my results. Again, no straight pieces, no limp, no limped curls. My hair looks pretty good. I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'll know for sure. So my hair is still pretty wet, so I'm going to let my hair air dry for a few hours and then probably sit under my hooded dryer for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back to you guys with my final results. So this is what my hair looks like completely dried. So the next product I'm using is Hairfinity's Botanical Oils. This is a 100% natural oil mixture. And I'm just applying a small amount into my hand and then scrunching it into my hair. So here's a close up of my coils, they're still intact. And finally, I'm using Hairfinity's Infinite Hair Serum. It's a clear serum, so it probably doesn't even look like I'm putting anything on my hair, but I am. Once it's applied, I'm going to go ahead and just rub it into my edges, my roots, and my scalp. This serum is safe for all hair types, including color-treated hair, which is great because my hair is color-treated. It also helps with restoring hydration to delicate and overworked areas. Once that's done, this is what my hair looks like. So I want to share with you guys how long my hair is. So I'm just going to do a quick length check for you guys. So the front of my hair reaches about collarbone. And I'm going to use some measuring tape so you guys can get an idea of how long that area is. So it's about 14 inches in the front. And now for the side. It reaches almost at armpit length. And with the measuring tape, it's about 14 inches as well. Now the back of my hair is, I don't know what length that is, but from the back it's mid back and it's about 15 inches which means I am 5 inches away from waist length. 